Hey there, how's it going? Today I wanted to talk a little bit about that thing that has been plaguing us for one whole year now. Can you believe that? Yes, I'm talking about the pandemic. Um, the first thing is social distancing, right? Everybody is staying further apart and they're wary of getting close to each other. We all feel super awkward when you meet someone, you're like, I don't know what we're supposed to do. It's just a super awkward time. Um, but what that means is not really being able to get up close and personal with people with a camera. You know, sometimes you have like a gimbal or something and you want to get those tight shots of people. Those are kind of out of the question these days. Even if you're wearing a mask, people are still weird. Most of the time you're allowed to be within six feet of someone if you're wearing a mask, but everyone feels like you're supposed to keep six feet. It's, it's confusing. Anyway, safest thing, easiest thing to do is just to work from further away, use a longer lens. I've been using zoom lenses a lot more often, kind of trying to get up and close and personal. And with that, uh, I think an important thing is, is, is try not to make it look like you're social distancing. This is especially true if you're filming like weddings or events, but even like, you know, general commercial stuff. You don't want everything to look like you're standing six, 12 feet away from people with a wide lens, you know, Try and get close and personal. Try and, you know, figure out if, what people are comfortable with, what you're allowed to do. Get that nice footage. Make sure it doesn't feel like everyone's social distance because someday in the future, this is all gonna be over and uh, we're gonna wanna look back at some of this footage and uh, remember it in a, in a happy light. The second thing is autofocus, which is going a little haywire in this video. Um, now, I know a lot of people, and especially I think older videographers, are like, never autofocus. It's never going to be as perfect and as good as the human touch. You got to manual focus everything. And I, I get that. Manual focus is great. But honestly, different strokes for different folks, different tools for different situations. Autofocus has its place. And as someone who does a lot of run and gun type stuff, kind of just showing up, shooting, you know, maybe I'm doing an interview and I'm setting up a camera and then, you know, actually asking the questions. Autofocus is just a helpful tool for me to use. That said, I rely pretty heavily on face detect autofocus. And when everyone's wearing a mask, that's just out of the question. Um, I've seen there's some technology that's being developed that is supposed to help cameras to, you know, work on people's eyes alone and kind of not depend on having an entire face. But uh, as far as where technology is at right now, you pretty much need an entire face for face detect autofocus to work. Uh, so a couple of tips to overcome that. The one is actually just learn to manual focus properly. I know it can be hard when you're, you know, when, when you've got a lot of things to kind of deal with but uh, learning to manual focus can be a huge asset on set. Make sure you're using your focus peaking, um, but manual focus can be a good tool for that. The other thing that I've found to be useful is focusing on people's shirts. So, uh, you, you know, you have your little focus box. Oftentimes, if I set it on someone's face, if they move just a little bit, it's gonna focus on whatever's behind them. Um, and so I, I find that finding a wider area uh, usually like someone's shirt, someone's like collar, there's often a good contrast around there for autofocus to detect. Um, even if people aren't wearing masks, I find that to be useful, especially like in interviews. If you're worried about people moving forwards and backwards and you don't want to just set it on autofocus, that can be a useful tool, just focusing it, you know, down here somewhere. So the third thing I wanted to talk about is just subject matter itself. It's been a year and we're all pretty sick of talking about COVID. You know, if, if someone's getting married during COVID, they're not gonna want that to be the main focus. They're not gonna want it to feel like a COVID wedding when they look back at it. Um, and I think it's important to try not to let COVID take focus of a video. So often you'll, I'll be interviewing someone and they'll say, COVID, we've been able to do all this during the pandemic. We've kept going during these difficult times, during these hard and trying times. I just try and steer people away from that kind of lingo uh, to more uplifting, more positive. Just talk about what you're doing. Don't, don't give it context because people will understand that if you're talking about the good work that you're doing, they know that you're saying that during COVID, during all this that's going on. 
Uh, and the same is true for like when you're filming a wedding, when you're filming an event. Don't let the masks, the social distancing take priority. Try to give people an idea of the spirit of the event itself. I hope that makes sense. Try to make sure your videos aren't about COVID, but that they're about the thing that you're supposed to be filming. So that's three simple ways that COVID has affected filmmaking for me. I hope this video has been at least a little bit helpful for you. Uh, if it has, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching and stay sharp.